Hello everyone, I'm Adam and this is my 2023 AP exam score reaction video. I am currently a freshman rising into my sophomore year and I took six AP tests this year, four of which I enrolled in and two of which I wasn't even in the class, I just took the AP test because why not? So anyways, let's get started with what I think the scores will be. Alright, so my first AP exam is AP Calculus. Now. I felt like that test was really easy, so I'm gonna say I got a 5 on it. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty confident I probably got a 5, although my handwriting is not good, so that might have messed stuff up or something. So let's just go for 5 on that one. Okay, and next we have AP Physics. Now, this was quite a tough one. I felt pretty confident for the AP test, except for rotation, and if you took that AP test, then you probably know that there were a lot of rotation questions on it. I thought I was going to get a 5, but for my prediction, I would say a 4 would be more accurate. I did pretty well on the MCQ, but on the FRQ, I had to skip like an entire FRQ, so that was not too sweet. Alright, next we have AP Human Geography. Now, this was taken by everybody. I studied, I did decent, most people say they got a 5, so I'm just going to go for 5 on this one, although I maybe I got a 4. I'm not too sure about this. The FRQs, again, kind of tricked me up a bit, but the MCQs were just breeze. Okay, and then we have AP Computer Science A. I think I got a five on this one too. I feel like I did pretty good on FRQs, pretty good on MCQs, but um, I'm not too sure again. AP Chinese, I'm a native Chinese speaker. So I think I got a five on that one for sure. I didn't even take the class, but the entire test was just like a first grade test for me. And then finally, we have AP Computer Science Principles. Now, I felt like this test was pretty easy, but I saw the scoring distributions. I heard about the no curve, and I had to do a query task that was complicated, but I feel like I maybe overcomplicated it a little too much. Also, was not enrolled in this class, so I'm gonna have to go with a four on this one. Let's just see how well I did coming next with my reaction. All right. So my AP exam scores are pulled out. I got a family member to help me with that. And I'm ready to look at my AP exam scores. I'm literally so nervous right now. So let me just switch tabs really quick. And I got a five on AP Calculus. Uh, not too much of a surprise there, but definitely pretty good. Uh, yeah, all right, now let's go down. Next is AP Chinese Language and Culture. Again, I predicted a five for this one since I'm really fluent in this. There's no reason I shouldn't get a five. And I got a five, so. Yeah, that's pretty good also. Uh, next, let's look at the next score. AP Computer Science A, okay, I'm so nervous right now. It's either a four or five. Uh, if I get a five, then that's really good. Uh, let's just look. I got a five, let's go. All right, uh, yeah. So far, all my predictions have been right, but once we get down to AP Physics, that's gonna get kind of blurry. Oh, I can barely talk right now. AP Computer Science Principles. Uh, I think I got a four on this one. This test was, Easy, but the curve is really bad again. Let's just look at the score. Yeah, I got a four. Uh, not too much of a surprise there. The curve was bad. I didn't even take the test. Maybe I'll try again next year. Or I'll just take it off my college resume anyways, like this AP test score. Okay, and next we have AP Human Geography. I think I got a five on this one. Let's take a look. Yes, I got a five on AP Human Geography. Uh, I guess I did do decent on the FRQs and stuff. AP Physics. Okay, this one is a tough one. I was really hoping for a 5. I feel like I got a 4 though, so I'll just look. Oh yeah, I got a 4 on AP Physics. I guess I didn't just, didn't break it on the rotation part. It's fine. After I take AP Physics C, I guess I'll just try for the 5 next year again. And uh, yeah, that's all my AP exam scores. I, I got every single one of them right, wow. Yeah, I got all my predictions were 100% correct. That's, that's actually insane, okay. Well, yeah. So yeah, I was pretty surprised I was actually able to get 100% accuracy with my score predictions vs my actual scores. Uh, I'm probably gonna take like 10 AP classes next year with like A on my schedule and two that I just like test out of. So check back in next year if you wanna see how I do. Good luck on your you guys' AP exams too. And also like some of you guys may be saying I'm like pretending to react poorly to like my fours because I just want to show how good I am. Like, I already predicted that comment. No, I'm not doing that. I, I actually have really high standards and I'm genuinely disappointed I got a four on those two AP exams. But anyways, guys, have a nice day.